Hi and welcome to Score Game. In this video we're going to play a really strong Darius Sejuani deck. I know I say this a lot, but this is going to be one of the 3 decks that I will use in the seasonal tournament. I'm going to replace one of the decks that I previously said that I will use with this one because I have a really high win rate with this deck and I'm not really doing anything that requires 5 billion IQ. You try to do as much damage as possible early game with low mana drops and then you just finish the game with Darius, with Sejuani, with Captain Ferron and with Decisive Maneuver. You have the decode in the description and you can also find the link that you can use to get the code if you play on mobile. Let's play some games. Okay, we're playing against Aurelion Sul Zoe. And what do we want to keep here? I'm gonna keep a Grenadier. I don't think I'm gonna keep the Raider. Because we attack on the first turn, if we attacked on the second turn, I would have kept the Raider instead of the Grenadier. Because you want to play the Grenadier on a turn you defend, and you want to play the Raider on a turn you attack. But I'm not gonna keep both of them. Hopefully I'm gonna get an Ancient Yeti. You always want to try and get Ancient Yetis in your starting hand. Okay, that's nice. Is I'm gonna play a Ballista here, even if he's gonna Avalanche, and I don't think he's gonna Avalanche because he has this. The Ballista doesn't die to Avalanche. Yes, the extra mana. Ancient things trapped in the ice. We got the Yeti kind of late. Another Darius. That's a lot of damage. Another star shipping, dude. Okay, we need to finish this game fast. These old eyes still see far and clear. boys so we already have a mirror matchup that's pretty crazy since not that many people play this deck and he has the advantage because he's attacking first okay what you want in your starting hand uh, are some uh, early drops one two mana drops kind of want the ballista i think i'm gonna keep the troll chant just because this is a mirror matchup and you also want uh, ancient yetis okay we got an ancient yeti and a 2 mana drop, so we can attack on the second turn, which is nice. Well, as I said, the one who attacks first has the advantage. I'm not even going to attack here because he still has 2 mana left. If he has troll chant, I lose my raider for free. So we just pass and play around my troll chain next turn and play the second raider. This land is ours. Okay, 
Hmm. Hopefully he's not gonna attack right away. I guess he's gonna attack. Uh, can we do it like this? We might have troll chant as well. He has it. Oh well. Fight or die. Everything is fine. Should I play the AT? I, I mean, I can play pretty much the AT uh, later on for free. Or maybe I should just go with the Ballista. But at the same time, if I play Ballista, I can just block with the Raider. And we don't want that. So just because uh, he has this 3 1, I'm not gonna play Ballista and go with the AT. I'm gonna attack with everyone here. Try me. I mean, we're pretty much gonna do these trades anyway next turn, and it's better to do them now when I do some overwhelm damage. He has another troll chant or what? Okay, that's fine. I mean, I really like my hands, so I think we're gonna win this one. If he doesn't have like, I don't know, two Yetis out of nowhere. Hmm, maybe he has another dead sand. Why attack here like this? Or an auction fervor. He might have an auction fervor. Maybe I should just block the spider. Play around the death hand. Hmm. Now I'm gonna block this just because we're gonna play Ballista and this is an easy block. If Mighty dies, Mighty dies. Oh well. I didn't expect him to use this easy maneuver with only two units. That's pretty bad for him. That's not really how you want to use this. You pretty much want to use this uh, decisive maneuver when you end the game. Oh. Let's still go with Darius. I mean, I have two overwhelm units. He has uh, one health units. So that pretty much means we're gonna level up Darius before he attacks. Might play a Yeti or a Darius or something. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna play this. He might play Sijuani as well. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go with Sijuani. I don't think I'm gonna end the game here, so I'm not gonna go with Darius. I'm gonna play Darius next turn, and on my attack turn, decisive maneuver should end things. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Played his own uh, Johnny, that's fine. I guess good thing I didn't really play Darius. And we just attack like this. Okay, if he has another decisive maneuver, uh, I'm gonna need this to actually defend, so I'm not gonna play Darius until uh, he finishes his attack and I survive it. Myself. 
Okay, he's out of mana. I'm gonna need this uh, as a defense. I'm gonna cry with the portal. Oh, he's only attacking with Darius. Okay. Interesting decision. It was a good decision, but I didn't expect he would do that. So I just kept on Feron or Darius and the Grenadier. I guess the Grenadier makes sure uh, he has 10 health on his Nexus. Whatever he does, since this deck doesn't have any heals. And that's gonna level up Darius and we can end it. Does it matter in which order I attack? Not really. Sadly, if he blocks properly here, he's still gonna have 1 HP left. And if I don't draw Death Hand or Noxion Fervor next turn, I'm pretty much gonna lose this. So I'm just gonna do some emotes and pretend I have little. Whatever he does, maybe it works and he messes up. Actually, this is the emote I need to use. I guess my psychological uh, emote attack worked and he didn't know how to block. Okay, uh, we're playing against Anivia and sadly he attacks first. I'm still gonna keep all three cards, these three cards. I'm not gonna keep Sijuani, we don't need it in this matchup. We really need the Ballista, so I'm really glad we have it because the Ballista survives to Avalanche. Captain Farron is also really good in this matchup as a finisher. And we got the Yeti, okay this looks really good. If we manage to do 5 damage here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna trade the Grenadier. Just gonna chill here. If he attacks, I'm gonna block with the Grenadier because if I block with the Ballista, everyone is gonna die to Avalanche. So if he attacks here, he's just gonna tell me I have Avalanche. Warm hearts and hot soup. Okay then. I mean, this is the only card we can play this turn, so I'm just gonna play it now. Fight the signal fires. Maybe get a free attack with a Grenadier. I'm gonna attack with a Spider as well, because he has to block here. Vile Fist, come on. Do it. I mean, if it's Vile Fist, he's pretty dumb. He should have used it before I attacked. Next. 
And if it's Catalyst of Yance you wanted to use earlier, that's... That's just stupid. Why would you want to use it before I attack? The spirit of winter awakens. That's annoying. Hmm. I guess we're gonna play the Yeti and we can see Johnny Daig next turn. Not even gonna attack, okay? That means he doesn't have the Rekindler because if you have the Rekindler you pretty much want Tanivia to die. Do it Darius, can we level up Darius? Question. We need to level up Darius. Just play him. Even if he's not leveled up and do some damage. He might just vengeance Darius here, but it's fine. This looks really good. We're gonna do some damage this turn. We still have Captain Pharaoh to end the game with. We can also level up Sijuani maybe this game. Okay, here I'm most likely gonna play with Jerg and uh, Palista. He might just uh, do ruination. He's gonna do ruination. There we go. Do I Noxian Fervor or do I just Ballista? I'm gonna do Ballista. I can see Joanny and Ryder instead of Ferran. Do we want to do that? I mean, if I play Ferran, he needs to have Vengeance or another Ruination or at least another Anivia in order to survive or I win. And even if he has it, I mean, we still have the Decimate, so I'm gonna go with Ferran. Doesn't matter how many Anivias he's gonna play. He's looking for heals. We either end it next turn or we lose. A new era. 
era begins. Another Anivia. I mean, the Sijani. Only the strong survive. Carved from the savage cold. Maybe we can uh, use uh, the Johnny Sphere of the North to finish the game. I mean, he pretty much has another Anivia, so that means two of my units are gonna get frozen. Avalanche. Sure. That means I'm gonna do more overall damage with Sejuani. Come on, dude. <laughs> Another Captain Ferran. Ooh, that means he's looking for answers, so that means we can actually end the game here. He had another Withering Veil, come on bro. I mean, he's gonna need a lot of heals next turn, and he also is gonna need to deal with Ferran. This is our time. Oh, it's so over. Gonna start with a Ferran attack. He's gonna have to spend some mana to survive this, and then I think I'm just gonna double decimate. Six mana down the drain. Two more mana down the drain. I mean, he knows I have double decimate, so yeah. Playing against uh, Riven Swain. We're only gonna keep the Ancient Yeti here. We didn't get any 1 mana drops. And we attack on the first turn finally. Too bad. This hand is really cringe. One mana drop on turn four. Thank you. It was right on my tail. Uh, 
Holy shit. Star shaping. On turn 4. This is gonna get killed if I play it. I think I'm just gonna Yeti or should I attack? No, I'm gonna Yeti. And I also have mana to play these two cards, so it's fine. Ah, uh, playing the Precious Pet doesn't do anything anymore. Gonna get killed by everything. Okay. Mm, maybe I should have a uh, Troll Chanted actually. I mean, I'm gonna troll Chan now. He's gonna. What's it called? He's gonna Ravenous Flock. Why yet he still dies? He might do some damage to my uh, Nexus and stun Darius. So that's pretty much why I grabbed uh, Swain with Sejani and we can kill him with that Sand. Even uh, if we attack with Darius we still need to use that Sand so... He's just passing. They just pass. As well. I mean, he's gonna waste a lot of mana. I mean, we can kill Spain this turn. I guess the game is pretty much over. We're playing against Timo Israel and we attack on the first turn. 
I'm gonna keep the Saboteur here and I'm gonna keep that sand to potentially kill Timo. Maybe I shouldn't even keep that sand, I mean. There's no way we're gonna kill Timo. He's gonna have Elixir of Iron or something, troll chant. Explosives primed. And there's Timo. I'm gonna play as many units as possible. Just got to ignore Timo. Not and ready. Everything is in place. Boom. Stay back. My life for Avarosa. If he's gonna attack with Timo, okay, that's annoying. I never use my goggles either. That's annoying. He has a free mystic shot. I'm not gonna try to kill Timo. He's not even leveled up or anything. Grenadier and maybe bait him to mystic shot this. He, he, he has to mystic shot the, the raider. If he mystic shows the grenadier, he is dumb. He, he's not dumb. Take with everyone, try to do as much damage as possible. You're between me and glory. What a mushroom hell. Can you spoil the surprise? Is he one gonna block with Timo? Ancient yet. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. One shot, all skill. Oh, uh, who do we kill here? We just let them hit. Then we kill Israel. <laughs> if I try to kill Israel before uh, they hit, he would have used some spells and leveled up Timo with the peddlers. And I would have a lot of shrooms in my deck. Interesting. I was forged by wind. You own what you pick. Ride onward. Victory at any cost. I'm a peddler, not a meddler.
Okay. Seventy eight shrooms. Finding details is my duty. Okay, that's scary. Come on, don't kill me, shrooms. Decimate or attack. Decimate. Not today, Timo, not today. I really recommend you guys try this deck. It's easy to climb with because games don't take more than 10 minutes and it's also easy to play. As I said in the intro, it's going to be one of the three decks that I will use in the seasonal tournament on Sunday. I'm probably going to stream the whole tournament with 5 minutes delay or something like that. So if you want to see me play live, subscribe, hit the notification button and YouTube will let you know when I go live. Leave a like to this video if you enjoyed it, ask me anything you want in the comments, I reply to every single comment and hopefully I'll see you around. Peace.